We are on a Formula One track in Madrid, in Spain. Behind me, we have the Easy Taro with fuel cell, and this has the standard 4x4 configuration. Welcome to Madrid. It is March, back home in Norway, it's snowstorms, airports are closed, mountain roads are closed, and here we are in 19 degrees in beautiful sunny weather to test drive this fuel cell version of the articulated Mercedes-Benz Easy Taro fuel cell. Join us here in the test track in Madrid, and before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe to the video and follow us also on Instagram. We have a lot of professional photos out there, and we would like it very much if you also followed us on Instagram. Welcome to Madrid. My name is uh, Frank Mandel and uh, I work for Daimler Buses and I'm responsible for uh, product training. Here on this uh, Easy Tyro fuel cell, uh, we have a fuel cell on board uh, with a nominal power of uh, up to 60 kilowatt. The fuel cell actually is uh, used as a kind of auxiliary aggregate to uh, recharge the battery during uh, operation. So the dynamic of driving we take out of the batteries, not out of the fuel cell. To drive the vehicle here, uh, we have a two axle drive. That means the center axle and the rear axle are driven by an electric wheel hub drive. The big advantage of these two axle drive is first of all you have a better traction uh, no matter if it's uh, rainy or in the winter time or even you have a very good acceleration and uh, while braking you have a very high rate of uh, recuperation so that means uh, you can uh, recharge uh, the batteries uh, much better when you go uh, downhill for instance during operation. Before we start driving, I want to show you around the bus, just to give you an overview of the bus. As you can see, you have the modern E-Citaro and Citaro fuel cell design. But behind that, you have the old design that came already in 2012. As you can see, these have the classic mirror. I love the classic mirror, but you can choose if you want to have the digital mirror or the classic one. And you can also see you have a double door that's going inside and uh, the same on all the three positions. You have insides door instead of sliding doors. And this fulfills the new safety regulation that comes this year. And as I heard today, that with all the technology, passive and active safety system, they have reduced the fatal accident with buses with 45% already. So this is a really good system. And let's hope that in the future we can reduce it even more, like 100%. Here you have the filling position for the fuel cell, for the hydrogen. And it takes only 10 to 15 minutes to refuel the whole bus. And then you don't have to, to plug in the charger. You have enough power, you have 60 kilowatts to charge the batteries that are 395 kilowatt hour batteries on this one. I have to show you something. This bus has driveline on the middle axle and the last axle. For me, this is something I really like. I don't say that every articulated bus should have it, but it's a good configuration for the winter condition that we have in the Nordic area. Behind this cover, we have the fuel cell. This is 60 kilowatt fuel cell, and the only smoke you can see is water. There is no diesel, it's only water. And now it's time for Magna to sit behind the steering wheel and take a drive on the Formula One track here in Madrid. So before I start driving, I just want to show you a little bit of the steering wheels and how we can adjust the seat and everything. And my favorite thing so far is that now is the Citaro becoming just like the passenger car. Look at this. I wonder who's driving in this position. <laughs> it is actually possible. So here you have great flexibility on how to sit. Down to my left, we have a little button that can make you fix the steering wheel position. It's the normal city bus dashboard where everything follows. I would love to have an independent for the just steering wheel. The panel can just stand. And here we have this electrical side window. I close down the door. 
There is no seatbelt. Okay. So then I don't fasten my seatbelt. Yes, but okay. I close this cage. And for those of you who have seen our videos before, I'm not a big fan of the cages. Put it into drive. And we are for the first time driving the fuel cell Mercedes-Benz Citaro. There is no armrests on the seats, so it's a little bit simpler version here. To my left, I have one big standing mirror. There is no wide angle mirror to my left at all. But we have the wide angle mirror to the right, and we also have, of course, the standing mirror. And as you can see, there is still classic mirrors in this bus, and we like that. We are not the biggest fans of digital mirrors yet, even though we are on a Mercedes-Benz event and we see that very many of these vehicles are now coming with the digital mirrors. So even though Mercedes-Benz is offering the digital mirrors, it is optional for the customer what to choose, digital or classic analog mirrors. The fuel cell offers 60 kilowatt and the fuel cell produces electric power to the batteries that offers you 394 kilowatt hours. So it is very powerful. And now we are climbing up a very steep hill and I'm almost not even pushing the pedal. And we are racing down this racetrack here in Madrid with powerful effects. I really like to sit behind this steering wheel. It's comfortable, it's quiet. Maybe this is the future. I'm not convinced that just clean electric power is the future we have been test driving a lot of electric buses now and you have to charge a lot it takes time even now i was renting a car in norway the other day and i had to wait within 12 hours i had to stand for charging for four of them four hours charging even in a passenger car and this is a bus it's so much more batteries to charge and with the fuel cell to charge your batteries it's great it's low noise level it's comfortable to drive and you also have the power. I think I'm very interested in this technology. Of course, we don't have the great uh, facilities yet for the hydrogen. We need to develop them better around Europe. But when that's on spot, I think this can be a very exciting future for bus, coach, even passenger cars and truck industry. What do you think? Make a comment below. Is fuel cells the future of driving? And one other advantage this bus have is that if you try to charge your electric bus, it might take three, four hours just to get a full recharge on the bus. This one, 10, 12, 15 minutes, depends on how many buses they are charging or filling up at the same time. So there is good things with this. Only good things, I feel. The price level will probably be a bit higher because the technology is new and we have to develop it and everything. But I think 12, 15 minutes for a refill, <laughs> It's a lot better than three, four hours. We are now driving down the hill and I can use the retarder. Very comfortable, one step, two step, very nice. And then you can see here that we are also generating back power to the battery. So we are having all the features that electric bus also have. So now we're helping the fuel cell to give back some juice to the batteries. It is a short test drive, but so far I liked it. So I hope Mercedes-Benz will invite us again back to their factory or wherever around in Europe to test drive this for a longer period of time. And now I will take you into the passenger side of the bus to see how it looks there. In here we have 47 seats and there is 90 passengers that's able to stand like I'm doing now. But I recommend you of course to hold on to the railings. As you can see, you have big good windows. You see everything. It creates a light and spacious environment on board. You have this rounded side pole so you don't get them too close to the middle aisle. We have screens in the roof. We have LED lights that goes across and we also have the good old Citaro panel leaning towards down the window from the roof. It is the classic layouts with the seats. Here we have the backwards facing seats, one in the front, one in the back. And there is also USB chargers on the seats here. And it's both USB-A and USB-C. So here you can fit quite many people, but there is no, like you see now in some modern buses, there is no uh, pillows or any fabric here we can lean onto. And here we have the third door of the bus. And you see there is no wheelchair ramp here, but you still have good space for the baby stroller. And here you also have USB chargers, two flip seats. You have everything you need, even and a passenger that looks very authentic. And all the way back in the bus, you can see that we still have this big, big box. Why do you need this big box where 
the normal combustion engine normally stands. I think it's about time to remove it. The seats look very simple, they are plasticky and they are nothing more than you want or expect, but I'm sitting here very comfortably. Of the 47 seats on board, there is three of this one and a half seats and I never liked the one and a half seat because now, if I'm sitting down here and there is another person thinking, hmm, this is a free seat and then I have to scooch all the way into the wall and you see this person cannot be very fat to fit on my side. This seat solution is for me the most horrible that's ever produced so every time I see this seat solution I'm just going straight past. It's not even I would rather stand the whole trip. Here we have the second door of the fuel cell Tataro and we have this manual wheelchair ramp we like them because there is nothing that can go wrong no electronics that can go wrong you just need to have physical enough power to lift up the handle and then you will fit the wheelchair here we have two flip seats we have space enough for the wheelchair also for a baby stroller thank you so much for watching this video here today I really hope that you liked the fuel cell and I'm so curious about this futuristic design of it and also the purpose and the use. I hope we will see more fuel cells because this was very comfortable and nice. If you like what you see, click down here. The video is called subscribe and then you will see all the future videos from us in Bus Magazine. Until next time, drive safely, have a great day.